everyone, and welcome to another episode of our Kids' Corner. I'm Katie with the Lehigh Acres Fire Control and Rescue District. Today, one of our firefighters is going to go over a really special piece of equipment that they wear every time that they go into a building that's on fire. It is so heavy. This is called an SCBA, a self-contained breathing apparatus. Enjoy the video. Hi, my name is uh, Probationary Firefighter Angel Nieves, and I'm gonna be going over our air pack today. So, a lot of kids wonder, how do we breathe in fires? How do we get to smoke? And this little piece of equipment here is how we do so. Okay, so we have our air tank here, which is a 45 minute bottle. So, what that means is, for us breathing how we do right now, or how you are right now, it's gonna take 45 minutes for you to breathe all this air out, okay? So, the air comes through our pack, through all these little hoses, and it's really pressurized right now. So we have to get it from all its high pressure into low pressure so it's easier for us to breathe. So it goes through all of our cords and it goes to our face piece, which is right here, which connects to our masks. And if you watch any of our other videos, you can see how different we look with our mask and our face piece on. So now it also ha looks like a little backpack, but it's a backpack for us and it holds our air. So we put our hands through here and it wraps on our back and then we're strapped in with the seatbelt at the bottom. So with our cool backpack, we have a few things that we can go over. So we have our gauge and this shows us how much oxygen or air we have in our tank left. And if we push a button, it gives us a little estimate as to how much we could breathe out at our current rate. But since I don't have my mask on, it won't show me. So we also have a little speaker. So if we're talking through our mask, it comes out through here and we sound clear as you guys can hear me right now. Um, we have our back piece, which rests on our back and it also moves. So it's not so stiff on us and it's easy for us to get to you guys. Um, so I'm gonna demonstrate how we put it on, but just imagine me with a bit more gear. Flip it up, put our hands through and then put our seatbelt on. And then just like every other seatbelt, we have to fasten it. Just like our shoulders. It's like I said. Now we have our speaker here. We have our gauge here. This would go on our face to give us air. So hopefully when you guys see us wearing this, you guys aren't so scared of us and you understand why we're using it. This may look pretty heavy, but this bottle is made of aluminum and it's wrapped a certain special way so and it protects it. So that same little gauge that we saw here, we also have it on our bottle. So it lets us know how much air we have left as well. We also have more little hoses. And this is if we wanna sink our bottle to another bottle that may not have as much air and it's a quick way for us to help our friends out if they're uh, in a little bit of a situation. So, we talked over our face piece earlier and sometimes you just don't want it to sit on the floor like this because it can get dirty. So on the other side, we have something that holds it in place. And it clips in and it protects it so it doesn't get dirty. Have our seat belts. We have clips on here for our mask. If we're not using them, we can have them on our backpack. And we have all these little lights here. So these lights show how much air we have left in our bottle. So we have them going green. That means we have almost a full bottle. Sometimes they can go down to yellow. Let's close our oxygen first. sends 
that's a little overview of our backpack that we use when we come to work to help you guys out in the city. What a really awesome piece of equipment that helps the firefighters stay safe while they come to rescue you. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Kids Corner. Remember, be brave, be kind, stay safe, and we'll see you on our next video.